Sri Lanka has the floor. Mr. Chair, the promotion and protection of the human rights of one's people is a sacred duty held in trust by any government. International solidarity and action are a complement to national action taken by a country. It must be facilitated only with the consent, support, and engagement of the government concerned. If special procedure mandate holders do not receive the consent of the country concerned, are only designed to name and shame and rooted in political rivalries, they are unlikely to make progress towards any tangible results and meaningful outcomes. Sri Lanka, as a matter of principle, does not support country-specific resolutions for the simple reason that they have been political tools exercised on a selective basis to serve the political agendas of the countries sponsoring the resolutions. They scarcely do justice to the cause of the promotion and protection of human rights. It is worthwhile to recall one of the core principles stipulated under Resolution 60 stroke 251, which recognize, and I quote, that the promotion and protection of human rights should be based on the principles of cooperation and genuine dialogue and aimed at strengthening the capacity of member states to comply with their human rights obligations for the benefit of all human beings. Sri Lanka reiterates that the work of the third committee should be conducted in an objective, transparent, non-selective, constructive, non-confrontational, and non-politicized manner. In conclusion, Sri Lanka reaffirms Russia of its fullest support to ensure the protection and promotion of the inherent rights of its people. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I thank Sri Lanka. Give